Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Ninja Boxing. And like I always say, please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the like. And of course, the subscribe right now and also go to the notification bell icon. Click it and sell it all center revenue bank uh, new exclusivity. You will definitely be notified. And also, to my Ninja brothers and sisters, now God, I take Beguna. Make sure they like the video, share them, subscribe. It's very important to do so because sharing is caring. And if you want, may BBC become the main player for town. May BBC become the main face of Ninja Boxing, African Boxing. Make Una the support, I beg. I they see Una support all the time. Make Una they share the video, I beg. Now go to beg Una. Let's go straight to it. F.A.R. Jagba. The Nigerian Nightmare. The one and only. The monster. One of the monsters. Upcoming young monsters in the every division. Who is going to, of course, dominate or has the potential to do so. In the future or in the nearest future did a very interesting conducted a very interesting intriguing interview with uh sky sports you know i mean and of course in the interview he said a lot of stuff he heaped praise on joshua he acknowledged that joshua is of course an engineer like him now he all because i'm the one that went out on him i put heat on him last time when he said joshua is not nigerian now a jackpot to the late listeners and you see and so now i mean bbc is the most influential ninja you know boxing platform in the whole universe because for this zanga so for this zanga i don't want you to say me person can they throw them out you know can they you know can they throw stones at each other we be ninja ninja whether they born born you for uk for us or for england for <laughs> i don't care where they born you as long as your man or your man or partner na Nanaja, you be Nanja. One even if you even even if one of the Nanaja, you be Nanja. Except so you don't claim her. But when you claim her, nobody get right to to this to just you know you know you know be Nanja. Joshua na proud Nanja guy, and of course everybody knows say I support Joshua, I support Efa Jagba. But if you if Joshua do anyhow, I'll still speak my mind. If Jagba do he do he do anyhow that time, I speak my mind. I saw it be. You need to correct people so let's get straight to it you know <laughs> so i just gave a very good account of himself uh, the english well uh, as if his english has improved even though english is not his first language because any nobody is obligated to speak english listen english is not my language you know i don't have my language but i learned english i learned english in school and because you know my country nigeria got colonized by britain and other stuff and of course the lot of different tribes there you know like the Igbo who don't want to speak my language i wouldn't want to speak Igbo, or the yoruba who don't want to speak my language i wouldn't want to speak yoruba because everybody have their own history and culture and you respect it so nigeria is a unique country that is why you have to respect everybody every nigerian you see you respect them because the uniqueness you know that you know that, that that is within us is just something magnificent and we have to appreciate that now ajakba said i quote if me and joshua fight in nigeria the people will support joshua because he's the everweight champ so ajakba said people will support joshua if him and joshua fight in nigeria well you have to understand that joshua is definitely more popular than ajakba in nigeria and joshua is more love but ajakba is also getting lo lots of love you know what i mean he has to stay humble you know i mean he wasn't before when he was with pbc he wasn't humble and now it looks like the guy is becoming more humble and you know more respectful acknowledging where he's from because i saw so many things here that he said he said some good things about nigeria uh, compared to uh, what he said before so Ajakba has improved uh, he's now he's, he, he's, 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 he has improved his mental you know mental abilities and all those stuff you know he's now more mature he speaks well now compared to before and I'm very very proud of the, of the brother I definitely support him you know so now so we see let's go let's let's continue he said skill would beat Joshua not power me and me and joshua both have the power but skills control the power i have more skills 
<laughs> I love in Japanese. Well, well, well. I'm gonna give my take on that very soon. But let me finish reading the re, 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 reading the article right here. What he said. Before we proceed, he said the best weapon of Joshua is the left hook and right uppercut. He doesn't have a good jab. I respect him. He's the heavyweight champion. I respect everything about him. His talent and his potential. He's a humble guy. People are saying that I talk down. I talk Joshua down, but I don't want to do that. Ajakba, Ajakba. Na me, na me people. I BBC na me call you on your bullshit, and you know that. Stop saying people because I call you on your bullshit. Where you started blabbing rubbish, where you were, where you were PBC, you know, talking on those kind of, of mic. Now you know that Joshua is Nigerian, and that's what matters the most. Because you have to respect your fellow Nigerian person. It's very important. Respect anywhere you see in Niger in Nigerian, respect them, respect each other. Because if we don't respect ourselves, nobody's gonna respect us. Uh, looking, looking at looking at we Nigerians right now, we already have so many many people that hate us. So many people hate Nigerians. I'm telling you right now. Maybe our actions, some some of our actions, sometimes some some of our people they go to some places and commit all sort of crime. You know, I don't support that. But that doesn't guarantee. That doesn't give them the guarantee or the the you know, the warrant or the the kind of audacity to kind of you know in, in, hate on someone. Because let's not forget, we got colonized. Nigeria got colonized. Africa was occupied for more than five hundred years by Europeans, and yet. These same people that hate Nigerians don't hate Europeans. So it looks like the black man always have this mentality of just hating his kind, you know. But he can forgive the other people, but he cannot forgive his kind in a way. So let's just, let's let's not also forget about that. Let's continue though. Joshua is from Nigeria, so he's a part of Africa too. It will be perfect for me to face Joshua on an African soil. Two Nigerian, two Nigerian warriors fighting in a title fight. So Ajaba said a lot, and of course, you guys can go check out the full article and read it. You know what I mean? I will leave the you know the link in the description below. Now, uh, Ajaba saying that he's more skillful, he's got more skills than, than Anthony Joshua. That Joshua doesn't have a good uppercut. I mean, let me first of all call my brother. Todd Jack to give his take before of course I give my take on it. Bro, how you doing brother? I'm good, I'm good. Uh well, what was it was a take on um a Jack Brother's statement saying that he's more skillful, he's got more skills than Anthony Joshua. That made me laugh though. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, right. So for, I feel <laughs> you know it was it, 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 it would be okay if a Jack Bus said I believe I have um more skills you know, or, you know, I believe in myself to have more skills. But for him to, like, you know, say it like that, then I have to break it down for you and why Ajagba is where he is. And I'm going to I'm gonna be real honest. I told you I'm, I am a, I'm, I'm a boxing fan, not a, not, not a, not, not a casual, not a, not a, 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 a fan of one boxer maybe AJ, but the rest, I'm just, I just, you know what, I just admire AJ for what he does. I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of his. I admire him for what he does, how he carries himself. I'll put it as terms like that. So yes, I'm going to defend AJ when people, when, when bullshitters come and talk bullshit, you know, and I'm going to, I'm going to be honest with Ajaba. If, 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 if the listeners are going to listen, I'm going to be sure to put honest with Ajaba. I don't know what I, I don't know what Ajabo Ajabo is watching because I guess he must have missed the memo of AJ versus Andrew Ruiz. Two, there's a big difference between Ajabo and and AJ. Ajabo is where he is right now, fighting those low-level bums, almost getting knocked out by Lago Pilazzi. Eventually, he does he forgot all his uh, fundamentals? Ajabo's jab, slow as shit. Ajabo's footwork, poor as shit. Ajabo's defense, medium. Everything else, it's pretty. It's pretty low grade. If a Jack was on the same level as AJ, or if he believed he was on the same level, or he could, if he believed he was better on uh, an AJ, he would be taking these guys out. What is he doing? No, he's not. Where is he at? Fighting low-level bums. What is he gonna do next? Fight another low-level bums. 
So I'm trying to figure out where Ajago got the notion thinking he's better than AJ. I personally don't believe Ajago is going to beat AJ ever in his career. I believe Ajago is probably going to lose maybe five more times, you know, and get one good lucky fight. Besides that, I don't ever see Ajago fight uh, AJ because I don't think Ajago is going to make it that far. And that's just me being honest. If Ajago is going to be honest, I'm going to be honest with him. Ajago's skills right now are piss poor. I don't think he's going to get better. His career is probably going to fall apart pretty soon. And I'm being a boxing fan and I'm being a boxing analyst, you know. That's just me being that's just me being uh, very honest. AJ so AJ skills is just too far superior and he has improved and he continues to improve. And that's just and that's just the way it is and that's how I'm going to end it. <laughs> I love in Japanese. Brother, I mean you went out on a job but do I have to say but the thing is that Ajagba is someone to be reckoned with because he listen, bro. Ajagba's got potential. Ajagba's got potential, and he can become an heavyweight world champion if he continues to if he continues to work hard. You know what I mean? Because you like Ajagba, you can see he's got potential. There's no doubt about it. Ajagba can beat Dubois. Ajagba beats Dubois, in my opinion. Even though Dubois knocked um, Razvan Kojono out in the second round and Ajagba knocked him out later and, uh, and later and other stuff but Ajagba picks his punches his jab is very very solid okay not like Joshua's jab not even close because I am saying that he's got a better jab than Joshua that Joshua is de very dangerous with left hook and all that yeah Joshua's got a very very good left hook but, but Joshua is not just known by one one weapon he's not known by a, a, the left hook guy or the uppercut guy no joshua is known as a boxer it means he's an all-round boxer an all-round fighter let's 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 go to the footwork footwork joshua's uh, joshua is miles ahead of a jugba talk about hand speed and speed joshua is miles ahead of a jugba combination ability joshua is miles of uh, is miles ahead of a jugba um, left hook miles ahead of Ajagba. Right hand, how to use the right hand properly, miles ahead of Ajagba. Um, what is the gain? Now, ring IQ, miles ahead of Ajagba. So, the only advantage that I see in Ajagba that I think that what it does, Joshua, what it does more, more than Anthony Joshua is picking his punches and he's listen Ajagba um knows how to pick his punches better than Joshua because Ajagba you hardly you hardly see the guy you know miss when he throws a punch he always his punches always get to the target I don't know if you if you've noticed it I've noticed it when he fought Hernandez I saw that you know when we talk about like of opponent, the people is for compared to Joshua. Of course, Joshua is miles ahead. Ajakba is not there yet. You know what I mean? Like he should not hype himself up that much. He's got potential. Know that about that. Him saying he's more skillful than Joshua or uh, gold medalist? Nah, man, he's not even close, man. But the only thing I see he does better than Joshua is the ability to, I mean, to 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 get to the target. You know, anytime he throws a punch, he always get to the target. Maybe he could. Maybe is the reason why. Maybe it's because he, he, he pick his punches and, you know, I mean, he doesn't really... Because Ajakba is not active enough like Joshua in the ring. Ajakba, I've not seen Ajakba, you know, throw a triple jab. I've seen, I've, I've seen Joshua throw triple, triple jabs. I've not seen Ajakba do that. You know what I mean? He's very good. His jab is good, but uh, he's still learning. I mean, Lennox Lewis was even teaching him how to do a proper jab the other day. Ajakba, despite being, you know, at this level, is still raw, you know what I mean, um, compared to Joshua, but he still has better skills than Deontay Wilder, okay? So if Deontay Wilder can become a champion, which he did, because he became a champion, you know, Ajakba can also become a champion, he can do that. He Ajakba can be, Ajakba beats Dubois, in my opinion. Ajakba beats Dubois, in my opinion, because Ajakba is like, 
more Dubois. I don't know what he brings to the table. Dubois just depend on his power. And I just about like I just said something very interesting right here. He said he doesn't believe in his power. Okay, is how you. It's not about everybody's got power, but it's how you throw it. You know what I mean? Is the angle you throw the power from that counts? Because that can, you know you you generate a, a, a power from your hips. You know what I mean? From your legs. Some people generate power different, but when you see Ajakba through his punches, you see some of his like jab and straight and straight right. You know his his jab alone. Some of his jab, when the when the when his opponents feel it, you know they get shook in a way. His jabs are very solid, bro. Let's not let's not let's not get it twisted. His jab is solid, but it's still very very like it's, for him. Compare him to Joshua all round as an all round fighter now, nah, man. He's not he's not close there. He's not close here. He's not close here. But as a fighter, he has to believe in himself. I like the fact that you know he saw he sees Joshua as Nigerian now, okay. And of course, you know he of course he of course talked about Nigeria in a positive way because the last interview he did with he did with the, with PBC journalist, bro, he he talked smack about Nigeria, and I put him in his place for that. And now. I think he's learned from that because he knows BBC. I know they fear any bagger. You know, feel me so. So, as a ninja guy, as a pejirian, I didn't my mind. I didn't try to bring brothers together. So, I'm glad that you know, I mean, he's learned from his lesson and saying that. Oh, people are saying I talked that Joshua. No, 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 not people. I was the one that brought it up because you said what you said, and the video is still there if I'm not mistaken. Go check it out if you want to check it out. So, the receipts are out there. Shout out to Ajagba, the Nigerian nightmare, and the one and only. And uh, yes, a fight between Ajagba and, and, and Anthony Joshua in Nigeria will be huge, bro. If Ajagba can get his name out there. What do you think about that fight, though? Ajagba must have built... He, but, he must have built himself up before he even has a... Before that fight can even happen, just because you you you're Nigerian doesn't automatically mean uh, no no it's not because it's Nigeria but uh, but you know uh, Rafa Bajiru was also interviewed the other day they, yeah. he did an interview with Sky Sports where he said you know he can beat Joshua and all those stuff like you know maybe like it's part of the, uh, the game plan you know Sky Sports have been very interested they've been very interested in Nigerian everywhere uh, you know for some time they've been looking for Nigeria everywhere bro I, I've heard some stories. Like it looks like Joshua, uh, you know, plan to fight in in Nigeria or in Africa. Like, is going to be, I mean, uh, it's something that is going to take place. It's going to happen. Let's not forget that Mati Bakoli is the number one African heavyweight. You know what I mean? Ajakba is number two. So I mean, I saw Billy Nelson saying that okay, uh, Ajakba is the number two. So Joshua has to fight Mati Bakoli. I don't think a uh, fight with Mati Bakoli would not be that excited like that. Uh, I don't think he will sell tickets in Nigeria if he happens in Nigeria. I don't. People don't know Mati Bakole, but Ajakba is known, and Ajakba has got the the bigger name than Mati Bakole because of that fight with um, what is his name again? The guy that 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 uh, that, that that didn't want to fight that doc that doc the guy that docked him. Um, Curtis Harper, you know, being being the guy that docked um Ajakba. Being a guy that ducked if you're Jagba, and I mean, we just hope to see the, the fight someday. I mean, Joshua is not Joshua is a guy that will fight anyone, anytime, any day, anywhere. Man, he, he's the king of the evolution. The guy is like, you no, know, you don't become king by fighting bombs like into water and all the stuff and start shouting bomb squad just just for people to hear. But you become king by taking on all challenges. Joshua said himself, he's, he's got 10 years in the game, and if he fights in Nigeria. Against Ajakba, I hope I just want Ajakba to be this. I mean, Ajakba now is with the as in, with a better promotional company that can help him or that can elevate him or give him good fights. So if he can, of course, if he can get the, the recognition that he deserves and of course the good fights, believe me, bro, the fight is gonna be huge. Ajakba, people, a lot of people know about Ajakba in Nigeria, and this statement is gonna make people also see. The other, the say uh, know about him as well. People who don't, who didn't know about him before. But his name is Big, bro. Um, it's gonna be very interesting fight. So, guys, for those of you guys who are watching right now, make sure you like the video, share, subscribe. It's very important that you subscribe, like the video, and share. And please, now go that bell. Gonna make one go to the notification, go to notification bell, bell icon. That bell for them. 
you go click on you go select all so that anytime i drop something like this now we'll see i beg now go to beg now and go follow my instagram at uh, boxing block center on twitter at boxing block as well facebook at boxing block center stay blessed stay on good stay on my guys cheers <laughs>